Hey, this is Joel from Silver Arrow Cars and Silver Arrow Trucks. Um, we just finished another build on a custom TRD off-road 4Runner. This is a 2018. Uh, we did it in the uh, Silver, uh, Silver Sky Metallic. Uh, great color. Uh, obviously, it's not a color that's in the TRD Pro, but it's a great color if you guys are going off-road or if you're somewhere on the west coast here where we have a lot of bush and shrubbery. Uh, the rubs up and down the side of the vehicle, uh, everyone probably knows that silver hides, scratches the best. So we have a client that wants to use it to take it to his um, remote fishing spot up on the west coast of the burly west coast of Vancouver Island here. Uh, so we did it in silver. So we'll do a quick walk around. I don't want to take too much of your guys' time and uh, I'll just show you what we've done. So like I said, we started with the 2018. Uh, no miles on it whatsoever. We immediately took it for the suspension installation and what we did on this one again is we did the Toy Tech Boss uh, suspension system. So full replacement coilover. Uh, that, uh, from what I know, they actually use a Bilstein for their shock and then it's their spring, which I believe is an Eibach spring, uh, but it's a different, uh, different progressive rating than say the stock spring. It gives a lot better ride firmer, absorbs bumps better, um, it's a great system. Uh, we also did um, SPC upper control arms that are fully adjustable right here. If you guys are going to be doing one for yourselves or if you're doing a truck that you are going to be taking off road and it's not mostly road, you definitely want to replace your upper control arms as it helps get your caster camber and align it back within factory uh, parameters. Um, we did the TRD Luck wheel. It's an, actually an FN wheel. Uh, the TRD wheels are a lot narrower, so don't, you can't run as wide a tire. This is essentially about 11 and a bit wide tire, getting close to 12. Uh, it's a BFG KO2. We put those on most of ours because they are snowflake rated. And out here on the West Coast in Canada, we get a lot of snow and you're rated to go over mountain passes. Uh, Green Lane Off-Road is a new company based here in uh, it's an engineering company. They just started building uh, some really great off-road products. They've used our vehicles to fit these. These are frame mounted, made out of aluminum, so a lot lighter than all the steel products you guys see out there. Uh, TIG welded. Uh, really great products. He's tried a couple different routes. We've kind of put our heads together and come up with what we thought would be a perfect uh, solution. Slim, sits up tight to the body. Nice and beefy, like I said, mounts to factory frame holes. So if you guys want to order these from him, one, they ship cheaper and lighter. Um, you can get them in unpowder coated. They'd probably be less expensive because they're Canadian dollars. So minus 25% if you're American. That's how much these are going to cost. I think he's retailing them for $8.99 Canadian. So minus 25% of that. Uh, they use factory holes in the frame. You can bolt them up yourself. Fantastic. Uh, the, the rear uses a replacement coil spring. You're not going to be able to see it in the video, but it's a new coil spring with higher height that gives you the extra lift in the rear, and it uses the Toy Tech Boss uh, shocks in the rear as well. We decided to use uh, Front Runner again, a uh, great partner. These modular roof racks use the factory mounting holes here and here. Uh, once you remove your factory cross or your roof rails, and then this whole system goes together. It's all made out of aluminum for the most part, other than these guys here. Um, it has a lot of mounting points. You can mount anything to it, frontrunner.com or frontrunneroutfitters.com. You get all different racks. So you can put your Pelican cases, you can do tents, you can do fishing rod, uh, kayaks, whatever it is you want to do. or valances, whatever you want to call them, on the front and back, uh, to, into black. The contrast of black and silver looks so good on this truck. Um, I'm not going to go into normal 4Runner stuff, but you all probably know that TRD off-roads come with a towing package, so your receiver hits the side. Um, what else can I tell you? Again, uh, the factory interior, it's all the same on the TRD off-road, so it goes really nicely with the red in the suspension and the red on the wheels. And then you have all the red stitch on the soft touch interior and the red on the embroidery on the headrest. We did change the front over um, from the typical front end over to the TRD Pro or TRD Heritage front grille and then change the rear, or sorry, the front lower valance as well. And last thing guys, um, if you look 
down below here. Green Lane Off-Road has got their quarter inch thick aluminum skid plate. This is the front half of the skid plate. We haven't put the second rear piece on. These are a really good deal. Uh, you can find them on his website, greenlaneoffroad.com. He's got a lot more products coming out as well. Of course, we did a diff drop on this truck as we do on all the stuff that we do lifted. And that's, so that's it. it. Uh, it's very similar to our last video. You can check that one out if you want. Obviously, it's not a full-blown take straight into the, into the back country and do all of your like overland stuff. You're, anyone that buys one of these, this is a really great starting point. You're probably going to want to add a lot of flavor to, to the truck yourself if you're doing serious stuff off-road. Really great practical truck for doing in-the-city commuting. You can do all your ski trips with it, uh, fishing, logging roads, all that stuff. Locking rear differential. It'll do everything you want to do. Very similar to the capabilities of a Rubicon Jeep. Anyway, thanks for watching and watch for our next video.